Channel F, the home entertainment system that never gets old. Plug in a new video card and change the fun. There should be some kind of goal and objective for them to learn something. Do something that makes you think about the next generation. When I think of Jerry Lawson, I think of an innovator, a trailblazer, someone who forged a path forward and made the game industry what it is today. Jerry Lawson is the father of modern gaming. Going from distributing games on a cartridge, now we put it online and anybody can access it. It all started with him. An inner city kid from Brooklyn moved out to the Silicon Valley, creating the cartridge-based system, helping usher in a world where studios can create video games. Growing up, you know, I was just dad. I remember testing the cartridges. We would get a lot of the carpet inside of it. And my sister and I laughed because I feel like I might have been the first person to ever blow inside a cartridge, which is actually not the right thing to do. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anderson Lawson. I'm a software developer and the son of electronic engineer Gerald Lawson. My father's entire life was all about science. And as a kid, loved challenges. In his early school years, he created a radio station out of his room in Jamaica, Queens. Later on, went to college and then packed up with my mother and drove cross country to the Bay Area, landing a job with Fairchild Electronics and started making games. He was creating a coin-operated video game using the Fairchild microprocessor, which later, with a team of people, led to the creation of the gaming cartridge and the Channel F system. Being a gamer my entire life, it's really a big honor to be a part of this interactive Google Doodle. Hi, my name is Lauren Brown. I'm an illustrator and game designer based in Atlanta, Georgia and I'm one of the guest artists who worked on the Jerry Lawson Doodle. The concept starts with the player as a little Jerry Lawson. This takes us through anecdotes about Jerry's life, parts of his journey that he went about to create the cartridge. Once you complete the level, you then get to create your own game with an editor that allows you to reimagine the level design and innovate like Jerry Lawson did. With the Doodle, the thing that resonates for me is the fact that it's interactive, that you could actually build your own game. It's been great looking at all the different ideas, working with the team and the artists to provide some input. So for this doodle, I worked together with a few other guest artists and we had to create our own games and our own aesthetic. I'm Dave Youngin. I'm a game developer based in Cleveland, Ohio, and I was one of the guest artists for the Jerry Lawson Doodle. I really just wanted to make this simple but fun escape room type of challenge. I did a whole bunch of mock-ups, art, story, and characters, figuring out like what do I want this to look like, what I want it to feel like. I love retro pixel art aesthetic, magenta neon colors, and then the mechanics and the actual editor itself. So the point in my game is escape the internet to get home, get out, and keep your life and your sanity in one piece. At the start, I knew that I wanted my game to have some kind of narrative about support and cooperation. I started in my sketchbook and then I translated it as a watercolor and eventually went over to digital. So you are a magical girl guiding a butterfly around the level to collect coins for you. You can't progress without the butterfly and the butterfly can't progress without you. And you'll have to defeat a few enemies while you get through, but the ultimate story is about cooperation with the butterfly to achieve a common goal. When people see and try this doodle, I really want them to walk away feeling that they can actually like just make their own game. Express yourself, look into Jerry Lawson, who he actually was, his contributions to the gaming industry and beyond. When people see this doodle, I hope that they feel inspired to be innovative and maybe have a learning moment about history and educate others about it. When people play this doodle, I hope they're inspired to be imaginative. And I hope that some little kid somewhere that looks like me and wants to get into game development Hearing about my father's story makes them feel like they can.